Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Um, could you briefly introduce yourself and your company? Sure. Uh, I'm, my name is Julian Kwan. I'm the co-founder and CEO of two platforms. Mm -hmm. uh, one is called Investor X. It is a licensed security token platform mm -hmm. uh, out of Singapore, yep. and it allows for the issuance and trading of any kind of STO to global investors. And our sister platform is called IXSwap. It's the first uh, decentralized exchange for security tokens for secondary trading. Oh, cool. So what are the key advantages of STOs compared to traditional security offerings? What do you think? Yeah, I think that um, if, you, if you contemplate um, you know, the public markets, mm -hmm. uh, the stock markets, the stock exchange, yeah. well, basically what we've done is we've, we've made shares digital and we've made them fractionalized and we've allowed everyone to buy them. Mm. Um, the, the reality though of, of listing a company on a stock exchange is it's, it's very difficult, it's very expensive, you have to be very big. Yeah. So it's a very small percent to mm -hmm. get on. So essentially I like to say that like, the concept of security tokens, mm -hmm. tokenization, um, is, is bringing those benefits of publicly traded assets to every other asset that's yeah. not big enough or um, can't be listed on a, on a stock mm. exchange. So you have the, the digitization, the tokenization of shares, mm -hmm. and then that's very, very much the first value proposition. Mm -hmm. And then you have a, a whole bunch of other value propositions where you can take your security token, um, you could lend on it, you could borrow on it, you could um, trade it on an exchange, you might be able to create Essentially, security tokens are programmable securities on yeah. blockchain. So now you also have, you know, new and better ways of, mm. of uh, creating you know, real estate funds and venture capital funds. So yeah. there's many, many uh, benefits of having digital shares over mm. paper shares, which is kind of the essential concept of security tokens. Cool. Then, do you think it's more friendly to the um, retail investors? Uh, security tokens are essentially securities. Mm -hmm. So. Um, some are available for retail and some are available for accredited institutions. It depends on the country oh, and it depends okay. on the asset class, mm. but there is uh, security tokens available for everybody. Cool. Then what unique solutions or technologies does your company offer to the STO market? Yeah, so IXSwap is the first uh, platform that allows anyone with a security token mm -hmm. to start their first liquidity pool. So if you think about um, listing any asset on a, an exchange, a stock exchange, um, you have to have a lot of money yeah. and you have to have market makers and mm. you have to, it's a big ordeal and, and that's why most companies never do that. Um, with uh, IXSwap, mm -hmm. we've made it super efficient and super low cost to legally and compliantly uh, take any security token, you can take a thousand dollars of equity in your startup yeah. as a security token and start a liquidity pool mm. and therefore breathe life into the liquidity of your asset mm -hmm. and it's available for any asset, any STO, anywhere oh. in the world. So. Our innovation, you know, I hope, um, is the value, main value proposition is mm. we brought the first liquidity solution to the STO market for the mm. whole world. Cool. Then, in your opinion, what does the future hold for the STO market in the next five to ten years? Yeah, I think um, actually the STO market started five, six years ago. Oh. Um, I think already. you mentioned before, yeah, already, <laughs> yeah. Um, around the world, the very beginning of the mm. industry. So it's about five, six years old. We've even had a situation where in parts of the world, it's the name of the industry has changed to real world mm. asset tokens, RWA. Oh, essentially, okay. it's the same thing. You um, think it's the same thing? It's, it's essentially the same assets. Oh, okay. You know, we started with security to tokenized security, digital mm -hmm. securities, security tokens, um, okay. and now also okay. real world asset tokens. It's RWA. all the, the, the they're all the same concept. All the same concept. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, I didn't do that. That's what the world did. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, look, essentially. We believe in the tokenization of all assets. Mm -hmm. uh, all assets are essentially, um, well, well, any ownership, equity, mm -hmm. or debt of an asset is essentially one or more people uh, with some kind of contract yeah. connected to some asset. Um, that's typically been done on paper mm -hmm. since the beginning of time. Mm -hmm. And just like email superseded you know, paper mail, um, tokenization is just a, a much more transparent, better system for issuing and holding any type of share. Mm -hmm. um, Governments are the, the ones that issue companies. Yeah. And already around the world, there's Switzerland, um, Wyoming, Delaware, there are, there are governments that have, are moving the next generation yeah. of their company share registers mm. onto distributed ledger technology, mm. which is blockchain, yeah. because of all the benefits. Mm. So uh, over the next five, 10 years, I think in, in 10 years time, I don't think you'll see any developed market that's issuing shares on paper anymore. Oh, okay. Um, 
because it gives regulators what they want, which is actually more transparency mm -hmm. than the paper shares, and it's just a better system. And cool. I think in parallel, we yeah. have the growth of the digital asset cryptocurrency markets around mm -hmm. the world, and then you have all these different types of digital assets like crypto and NFTs and DAOs and all. Yeah. And now we're going to have security tokens, and then we're going to have this huge world of real estate tokens and private equity tokens and startup tokens, and it's going to be very exciting. So mm -hmm. that, that's what I think is cool. the direction. I heard that BlackRock is also investing in RWA. Do you think there will be more institutions are coming into this market in the future? Yes. BlackRock isn't the first. Oh, okay. They're the most famous. Mm. Uh, there are most other groups. Biggest. Yes. Yeah. There are other groups around the world in mm. the institutional side mm -hmm. that have been issuing security tokens for the last couple of years. Oh, okay. A lot of them are doing it on private blockchains, so mm -hmm. nobody knows about it. Yeah. But more recently, they've been doing it on public blockchains. Mm. And that's what... Um, Larry Fink, CEO of BlackRock, said yeah. last year, first of all, tokenization of everything. Second of all, it needs to be done on public blockchains. Mm. Um, so no one ever wants to be first, but everyone wants to be second. Yeah. So we're now at that point where institutions around the world, certainly in Korea, mm -hmm. banks, um, all types of fintech platforms, they're all coming into the space. And actually, mm -hmm. outside of Korea, um, Coinbase, which is one of our investors, yeah and other major exchanges mm. are working very hard on how to bring STOs mm -hmm. onto their platforms to sell to their yeah. existing users. Mm. Binance, 200 million wallets. Coinbase, 140 million wallets. Cool. Crypto.com, 100 million wallets. So, um, but the reality is that STOs require securities licenses, so you can't just add these assets to other kind of cryptocurrency exchanges. Mm. You need to work with partners who have the licenses. Yeah. So it's a great, time for the industry. Mm -hmm. You have Larry Fink and Wall Street yeah. coming into the space and you have Coinbase and other mm -hmm. crypto exchanges coming into the space as well as like Robinhood and other fintech platforms that are trying to add more of these assets and gain mm -hmm. more market share. Cool. Uh, security tokens is kind of the natural evolution for the, mm -hmm. the use of blockchain yeah. for a much bigger audience. Cool. Then what do you think to invest in crypto that's related to RWA or STO rather than just invest in STO itself? Well, what's a very interesting situation mm. um, about the current market is a lot of people in the cryptocurrency market think that um, RWA tokens, mm. reward asset tokens, um, like ours, IXS token, mm -hmm. um, Ondo token, Maple, these are yeah. actually utility tokens oh. of real world asset platforms. Mm -hmm. The actual real-world asset tokens, the equity tokens, yeah. they're actually different. Oh, okay. So the real-world asset tokens um, available today are very broad, but some of them are tokenized treasuries, okay. tokenized money market funds, tokenized mm -hmm. shares of startups, tokenized real estate. Mm -hmm. They're real-world asset tokens. Um, but there's also a bunch of cryptocurrencies that are yeah. the utility token mm -hmm. of the platforms that are actually cryptocurrencies. So, yeah. And that, they've been the second best performing cryptocurrency assets in the world this mm -hmm. year behind meme coins. Yeah. So um, hopefully that made sense because it's a little bit tricky for people to understand uh, for the first time. Mm -hmm. But essentially you have all these people buying and selling RWA utility tokens yeah. that are cryptocurrency. Mm -hmm. And then you now have a whole, another market that's actually buying equity tokens and real estate tokens and treasury tokens. Mm -hmm. And both of them are growing very rapidly. Cool. Um, is there any, any advice you would give to companies or investors who are considering participating in this industry, STO? Yes, um, the best advice I could give is that you know, we now have this new technology marrying with these new marketplaces. Mm -hmm. um, we're still just getting started, it's still very early days. Yeah. Most investors in early technology mm. gain the asymmetric returns. Mm. So my advice to everybody is start you know, start, start yeah. looking at platforms, register on platforms, mm. our platforms, other platforms, mm -hmm. buy something, set up a wallet, okay. buy something, mm. stablecoin, um, fiat. Just like um, everyone's journey into cryptocurrency, yeah. it's a journey. And it's, it's not, there's no end date because the technology evolves every day, new assets, yeah. new platforms. Mm. But you, if you don't start, the only way to really start is to put some skin in the game and actually put, like on iXwap, you can put one dollar in. Oh. So, the barriers, it's not a money barrier. Yeah. It's people um, getting up, getting off, taking the time and playing around and learning. Mm. And then starting to understand what are the protocols, what are the assets, who does what, what's the new innovations, mm. how do we take advantage and become an investor into the space. Yeah. And as we all know now, mm. 
when people were saying this to people in cryptocurrency in 2009 and 10, because there were people running around the world saying, you should try this Bitcoin, mm. you should set up a wallet, yeah. and people went, yeah, it sounds great, too mm. hard, too difficult, couldn't yeah. be bothered. Those people now are some of the richest people in the world. True. I mean, that's reality. Mm. Um, so now, this is a, a different asset class. It's, okay. it's using the similar technologies, but just to get started. And there's a lot of great platforms around the world now um, that allow people to do that. And away we go from there. Mm, cool. So you just try it first, right? That's right. Okay. And last question for you is what opportunities do you see for STOs in the Korean market? I think Korea is one of the most exciting markets in Asia. Okay. I think it is definitely one of my favorite places to go. Uh, young, very tech driven, mm -hmm. um, very dynamic. Um, uh, uh, love cryptocurrency market. Yeah, love trading <laughs> cryptocurrency market. One of yeah. the biggest in the world. And everything's digital and it's the DNA of STOs is very much aligned with the DNA of Korea, mm -hmm. I would say, just culturally. Yeah. Um, so I think that the market here is going to be huge. Mm -hmm. I think there's a lot to unpack. There's um, regulatory requirements that everyone needs to work out. Yeah. But I have a lot of, this is our third trip up here in a year or two. We've got a lot of exciting Korean assets on our platforms oh. that are for foreign investors, okay. tokenizing K-pop, oh, tokenizing luxury yeah. wines. I mean, it's just getting started. Mm -hmm. um, but that's why we're here because we think it's a huge opportunity yeah. and it's a big blue ocean opportunity. It's it's literally day one. Oh. So we're really bullish and um, yeah, excited to, to see, to, to help this market grow, be part of it. Cool. Thank you so much for sharing your insights with us today. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you.